Ever thought cricket was just a sport of the modern era? Well, think again. As it turns out, cricket, the sport that unites nations, divides houses and has a fan base of millions, might just be older than you think. Much older. In fact, there's evidence to suggest that it may have its roots in the Dark Ages. Yes, you heard it right, the Dark Ages. A time when knights, castles, and dragons were the order of the day could also have been the time when the first cricket ball was bowled. Now, let's take a step back and delve into the annals of history. Picture this, the 13th century, a time of change and upheaval in Europe. Amidst all this, there's an intriguing reference to a game remarkably similar to cricket. This reference, found in the wardrobe accounts of King Edward I, speaks of a game being played by his troops that involved a ball and a bat. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? This game, referred to as Kriag, might well be the earliest ancestor of what we now call cricket. Of course, it wasn't the polished, internationally celebrated sport we know today. It was likely a rudimentary game, played with whatever equipment was available. But the essence was there. A bat, a ball, and a whole lot of fun. Fast forward to the 16th century, and there are more references to games that seem to be cricket's ancestors. These games were played on church grounds and village greens, with local rules and homemade equipment. And from these humble beginnings, cricket began to evolve. So, the next time you watch a game of cricket, remember this. You're not just watching a sport, you're watching a piece of history. A game that has evolved over centuries, from the dark ages to the present day. It's a game that has been shaped by time and history, reflecting the changes in society and culture along the way. So there you have it. Cricket, a sport we thought was relatively modern, could well be a relic from the Dark Ages. Now, here's a twist. Cricket started off as a children's game. Yes, you heard it right. This sport, now loved by millions, was once a simple game of stick and ball that children in the southeast of England played during the Middle Ages. Picture this. A group of youngsters, inventing their own rules, running in green pastures with nothing but sheer joy and a piece of wood. As time passed, adults couldn't resist the allure of this exciting game. They started participating, adding their own twists and turns to the rules, and before anyone knew it, cricket was no longer just a children's pastime. It had evolved into a game that intrigued and entertained people of all ages. The 17th century marked a significant era for cricket. The game had gained considerable popularity among adults, and it was during this period that it began to transform into more than just a leisure activity. It was becoming a spectator sport, with matches drawing large crowds, inciting the kind of fervor that we associate with cricket today. Imagine the excitement in the air as spectators gathered around to watch these matches, the suspense building with each ball bowled and run scored. The game was evolving rapidly, with formal rules being established and teams being formed. Cricket was no longer just a game. It had become a phenomenon, a national pastime that brought people together and stirred their passions. Adults across the country embraced cricket, not just as players, but also as fervent spectators. The game was a spectacle, an event that people looked forward to, a source of national pride. This was the era when cricket transitioned from being a simple children's game to a beloved national pastime, a sport that captured the heart of a nation. Fast forward to today, and we see the legacy of this evolution. Cricket is not just a sport, it's a part of our culture, our history, and our identity. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of this game that it has survived and thrived over centuries, evolving and adapting, yet never losing its essence. And just like that, a simple children's game evolved into a beloved national pastime. From English pastures to international pitches, cricket has indeed come a long way. It's quite the journey, isn't it? A game that began as a simple pastime in the green fields of England has now become a global phenomenon, reaching across continents and cultures. The spread of cricket began during the era of British colonialism. It was the British Empire, with its vast reach, that introduced this sport to different parts of the world. The game was taken to the West Indies, Australia, India, and more. With the British Empire's influence, cricket became more than just a game. It became a symbol of unity, a way to connect the colonies to the motherland. 
Interesting to note, however, is that the first international cricket match wasn't between England and one of its colonies. It was actually between two nations you might not expect, the United States and Canada. This historic match took place in 1844, a time when cricket was still a relatively new sport. The match was held in New York, and it was a spectacle like no other. Crowds flocked to witness this international contest, and it was then that the world realized the potential of cricket as a global game. Imagine that, the US and Canada, two countries more known for their love of baseball, were the pioneers in international cricket. Over the years, cricket continued to spread, reaching every corner of the globe. Today, it's not just a sport, but a way of life for many. From the Caribbean islands to the subcontinent, from the Australian outback to the African savanna, cricket has found a home. The journey of cricket is a testament to the power of sport. A game that began in the pastures of England has now become a global phenomenon, uniting people from different cultures, backgrounds, and walks of life. Who would have thought that a game from the English countryside would end up being played on international grounds? Cricket today is much more than a game. It's a global phenomenon. From the green fields of England to the sandy beaches of the Caribbean, the snowy peaks of New Zealand to the bustling streets of India, cricket's appeal has transcended borders, cultures, and languages. In its journey around the globe, cricket has evolved into various formats, each with its unique flavor and charm. The oldest and most traditional form, test cricket, is a five-day marathon that tests the skills, patience, and endurance of the players. It's a battle of wills, a game of chess on grass, where every move counts. Then there's the One Day International, or ODI Cricket, a blend of strategy and speed. Each team gets 50 overs to score as many runs as possible, balancing the need for quick runs with the risk of losing wickets. It's a day-long spectacle that keeps fans on the edge of their seats. And let's not forget T20 Cricket, the newest and fastest format of the game. With just 20 overs per side, it's a whirlwind of big hits, daring runs, and high-octane action. It's cricket at its most thrilling, designed for the fast pace of the modern world. But cricket is more than just a sport. It's a reflection of the cultures where it's played. In India, it's a religion, with cricketers treated like gods. In Australia, it's a symbol of national pride, a summer ritual. In the Caribbean, it's a celebration, a carnival of music, dance, and cricket. Cricket brings people together, it unites nations, bridges differences, and creates a sense of community. It teaches values of teamwork, sportsmanship, and respect. It inspires dreams, fuels passions, and creates heroes. Cricket, a sport that started in the pastures of England, has now found home in pitches around the world. Truly a game that has stood the test of time.